Hello my friends, uh, in this video we will go over 1992 USOMO problem number 2. It's a proof type problem as you can see. We will, uh, the question is asking to prove this uh, equation. And um, obviously on the left hand side we have a large summation and on the right hand side a simple result. Um, so we need to come up with a trick that would somehow um, change this summation either into a product or somehow if we are sticking with the uh, summations um, somehow if I can come up with a telescoping argument that terms will cancel out then I will end up with a much simpler form which is what I'm going to do next um, for that before I begin I will just multiply both sides of the equation by sine 1 so that it looks better I guess more symmetric and we get the following then so we have a sine 1 over um, yeah, so let's just do it. So cosine 0 times cosine 1 degrees plus sine uh, 1 degrees cosine 1 times cosine 2 degrees plus uh, all the way to 1 over co uh, sorry sine 1 over cosine uh, 88 times cosine 89 degrees, which is equal to obviously cosine 1 over sine 1 and uh, we know very well this is equal to cotangent 1 and um, as I said I, I would like to come up with a um, either a telescoping argument or an argument where I can uh, express this whole summation into a product and it turns out th there's a way to make this whole thing into a telescoping argument by just observing the following thing uh, in fact I can represent the sine 1 in the first fraction as um, 1 minus 0 and uh, because I want to liken it to the um, denominator and to the expressions in the denominator in a similar way the sine 1 here would be simply 2 minus 1 uh, and this one would be 89 minus 88 degrees uh, so that's sine 1 again but then uh, I know for a fact that uh, so you can um, maybe I should call it a claim uh. so let's write our first claim uh, a green claim so claim let's have a look at each of these expressions right so the claim is the following so sine um, um, I guess a minus b huh? divided by um, cosine a um, times cosine b huh? times cosine b I claim is equal to and you can check right um, well uh, I guess let's just do it so forget about the claim Let's just prove what it is. So sine a minus b and difference of a sine function. So it is uh, sine um, a cosine b minus sine uh, b cosine um, a, huh? all divided by cosine a times cosine b. And I can split it into two fractions. Obviously, in the first fraction, the, the cosine b's will cancel out. So I will be left with sine a over cosine a which is just a tangent a in a similar way in the second fraction I will have the cosine a's cancel out so I will have a tangent uh, sorry minus uh, a minus uh, uh, tangent b remaining and that's all so that's actually perfect so therefore what I will have eventually huh, so that whole thing that initial expression would simply so this expression here is simply equal to tangent uh, 1 minus tangent 0 I guess right so that would be simply tangent 1 minus tangent 0 plus how about the second expression well the same huh? tangent 2 minus tangent 1 plus huh? all the way to tangent 89 degrees minus tangent um, tangent 88 and let's confirm that whole thing is equal to cotangent 1, right? So we want to show this is equal to cotangent 1. Huh? That's what I want to show. But then I have a telescoping series here. I will just realize that the, huh? so each of these were from a different term. Huh? So the first term, first component here cancels with the next term's last component and so on. So the first term here will cancel with the following term's last component. So, for, so therefore this one will be gone uh, be with the, it will be cancelling with the previous uh, pair the first part so therefore this whole thing will reduce to tangent 89 
a minus tangent zero, right? So that whole so so the left hand side, huh? so the left hand side is simply equal to tangent huh? with that telescoping argument minus tangent uh, well zero, but tangent zero is just zero, right? So this is just tangent eighty nine, which is the same as cotangent one, and I'm I, 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 and I'm done. Huh? So that's that's an awfully simple problem. Huh? So probably an um, an Amy number, I would say what six or seven, I guess. But that's it. So hope to see you guys in our next video.